Right. Hello, YouTube. This is the DBT Gamer Show. Episode 24, Part 2. Now, if you haven't watched Part 1 yet, you've missed quite a bit, so... I suggest you watch Part 1 before you watch part this part. Now, I'm still reviewing Sonic Adventure for the GameCube. So let's pick up where I left off. I left off halfway through explaining Sonic's adventure. Most of Sonic's stages are just running stages, running through levels, like in, like in every other Sonic game. Um, the stages are really good. I mean, that killer wheel you can see in the background looks really good. The graphics in this game are so awesome. I'm not so sure if they could not have done these graphics any better. I mean, if you play Sonic the Edge of the Xbox, the graphics haven't really changed much, even on that game. This is probably my all-time favourite Sonic 3D game. I mean, I know I got a chance to play the Dreamcast version as a kid, but this version's just as good. That's basically Sonic's gameplay. Now, Tails' gameplay is quite similar to Sonic's, but it's... But it's a bit different. Basically, when you pick Tails, like your ah, here we go. Tails has several items as well to um, help him get through the game. He has a tail, he has a, a ribbon badge which uh, makes him do continuous tail attacks, and he has the um, jet shoes. That's bit, I think that's all he gets. When you start the game, you can only do one tail attack like that. But when you get the ribbon badge, you need to do this. Spin it around like a spinning top. And destroy all your enemies. Oh, hey! The jet shoes really help, because tails can't fly for that long in this game. So the jet shoes really help you get around when you're flying. You press A to jump. Hold A to fly. You can also do a roll if you run them just past B. Um, and you can just hold down the B button, you can do your tail attack. Basically, all Tails can do. Alright, let's go on to Tails' levels. All Tails' levels are all race based. Most of them you'll be either racing. Most of them will be racing against either Sonic or Dr. Robotnik. There's only one level you race, Dr. Robotnik, and that's probably Tails' last level. Um, let me see if I can find a level to show you. Here we go. Right, this is the, um, one of the levels that Tails goes into. Basically, you have, there's, a, there's a small bar at the bottom. That bar at the bottom shows who's in first and second place. And you go race against the character. And the person who. And basically, you've got to be in first place at the end of the race, else you will fail the mission. The characters will say funny things as the race goes on. Like, Dr. Robotnik will say, Tails, wait for me, but personally. Waiting for Dr. Robotnik is just stupid. There isn't really that much to talk about with Tails and story, so I'll just move on. <coughs> right, let's move on to the next character's story. The next character you'll come across is Knuckles. Knuckles' story is quite puzzling, I suppose. Basically, Knuckles has his the mass tremble that Knuckles looks after has been has been 
shattered into several pieces. And it's your job to pick up all the pieces of the Master Emeralds and restore the Master Emerald to its original former Master Emerald shape. Knuckles has his own um, set of items as well. He's got his shovel claws that can do something on the ground. And he's also got his um, fighting gloves. His fighting gloves make you do a maximum heat knuckles attack. This acts basically in the same way that Sonic's light speed attack acts. So, that's basically how it acts. Uh, if you press jump and jump again, you can do the glide. B buttons you punch. That's basically it. So, I'll show you one of the knuckles levels now. There are several areas in this game to go f go through. There's three main areas: there's Station Square, Mystic Ruin, and Doctor Robotics Egg Carrier. Probably the biggest area in the entire game is the Mystic Ruins. Knuckles can climb up walls that they used to be doing the um, 2D games. Oh, God damn it, where in the hell is that level? Alright, I know how to say I'll go into the um, trial mode. The trial mode is based on section of all the levels in the game, so you can just play them out and to walk to them, which is an extremely useful feature when you're doing reviews. Here we go. Most of the character voices in this game are really good. Right, here we go. Right, Knuckles of Levels. The object of the um, stage is to find three pieces of the Master Emerald. On the bottom of your screen, you will see three emerald. You will see three em emerald symbols. These three emerald symbols will flash in certain colours the closer you get to the emerald. We'll go from blue to green to yellow, then finally to red, I think. The more the colours change, the, the more the um, close to the emerald you are. There we go. Once you find all three master emerald pieces, the level, the stage is over. That's basically Knuckles' of the story. Right, I'm very sorry YouTube, but I've been out of time again, so join me in, in part three of my review of Sonic Adventure for the GameCube. Until then, bye-bye.